these two rooms here and beyond those two houses is a compound where all the athletes and technical officials will be living in during the games so what they do is they will go through the security check well let's give you a preview of how it will look like and here you can see a lot of the parts of these buildings are decorated with the Olympic logos. So this is the security check. Starting from 8 morning, 8 in the morning, already we have uh, 13 delegations and they are from um, Switzerland, Czech Republic, Germany and the United States to name but a few. So the, those delegations, they have already arrived here at this uh, village and now you can see that some members of the delegations and this I believe they are from the UK and they are uh, activating their registration card and before that they need to go to another place let's keep moving just follow up so this is the advanced opening of the village so what do those people come here for today well they have a lot of uh, prep meetings they have to confirm a lot of details because I believe they have registered a lot of names and today is the time for them to confirm the list of participants and also for example they have registered their names for certain uh, sports or items but due to some, some reason they may not make it to the games here so they have to double check the registration so here we have Huang Yichui the registration manager for the games so starting from 8 a.m. today, we held a final registration meeting for delegations. So this is the luggage area. Yes, you can tell from the flags that we have uh, Germany, we have the Netherlands, and also Poland. In the morning, we held the pre-registration meeting for four to five delegations. And right now, there are another four to five delegations that are having the uh, final registration meeting. So today, I assume that there are 20 uh, delegations coming. So where are their meeting rooms? Well, we can take a sneak peek of this meeting room. I believe they just finished a meeting and this is a registration meeting so what is the purpose of this meeting why they have to go to a meeting since they have just come here well because uh, the first round of registration was based on expectations and they have to go through a meeting like this to confirm the qualifications of each entering athlete and they will also have to confirm with the total number and size of the delegation. So today we are talking about this uh, advanced opening of the village. This is the very preliminary opening of this village. I believe we are setting uh, the conditions for the official opening of village. Yes, correct. And because uh, at those meetings, they will have to confirm the final number of registered participants and what are their mandates so after this meeting the delegation will know uh, how many members will be entering into the games officially and they will also activate their registration card uh, with that card they will have access to the games venues so how many meeting rooms do you have we have a seven DRM meeting rooms what is DRM? We call it Digital Registration Meetings. 
So it's the digital registration meeting. We have had some DRMs before, but this is the final DRM. This is the moment for them to uh, consolidate their participation so that they can confirm the size of the delegation and everything else. Well, thank you very much. So this is just a registration card of a Chinese technical official. So when the delegation finishes the DRM, so on the registration system, we will change the status of the person into um, ready for activation. And uh, when the athlete actually comes to this place, he can just go to the registration desk and officially activate his card. So here on this card, we can see that it contains the information of the delegation, a barcode, and also TA and the uh, knife and fork. So what are those? So with the knife and fork, it means that you can go eat in the cafeteria. TA is for transportation. A is athlete, so which means that you can take the shuttle bus of all the athletes. Well, let me take a look at your card, and you have uh, much less mandates a much less much less right. Well this is because we just work here and we don't need to work in other places. And uh, what is OLB OLV uh, for? So OLV stands for Olympic venues uh, which means that with this pass you can go through the different venues because you may go to the competition venues, you may also go to the training venues. I believe OLV stands for Olympic Village. Yes, correct, and it includes all the three villages. In Beijing, it's a BVL, so if you only have access to Beijing Olympic Village, it's B-O-L-V. Well, I, I see that you are doing this in a very meticulous manner, and everything is so carefully planned. I believe that the Winter Olympics is a very sophisticated project. This, I believe, is athletes from the Chinese team. I believe they have already finished the DRM. Yes, they already finished, finished it this morning, and they are now able to go to the reception desk to have their card officially activated. Well, they have been staying up till very late uh, last night and even till this morning and they have been preparing for a lot of documents. Surely they have spent a lot of time on this. So this is the first day of the DRM. Uh, I think they are fully ready for this. So these people, when they come here, your job is simply to facilitate their registration. In addition to supporting for the DRM, what are the other part of your responsibility? Well, to answer your question, I believe you can come to the activation desk for the cards because when the delegation finishes the DRM, the members of the delegation can go to the activation desk and to have their cards officially activated. Well, it's a long line of queue, so or can we just hand it here? What is this section for? So right now we don't have a lot of people standing in the line, but earlier today we had the DRM meeting of uh, Australia and the United States. So it's only after the DRM meeting can they have access to this reception desk. Yes, exactly, because after the meeting, their status will be changed on a system, and then they come to this desk, they show their identification card, and then we can officially activate their Olympic card. So this is like the passport of the athletes and technical officials, no matter where they go during the games. I saw that from the news that I know that 
eventually it will have the access to different venues and different facilities uh, but the uh, the range of accessibility is actually decided upon the registration or the activate activate key, uh, uh, or the activation actually so we have a lot of uh, passes uh, which is automatic electronic so this is simply to make everything easier so we only allow those qualified to enter those venues uh, venues and we have the advanced round of uh, registration but that is only preliminary so it's also exactly why that we have today's DRM meeting because after the DRM meeting only those really qualified can have access to those venues only with those registration card so which means that when you claim the card you can carry it with you and go through different venues and it will be automatically checked yes some athletes they have already activated their card and they just need to go through those um, automatic checkers and then they can enter the village I can see a lot of working staff also having access to the village so when they pass that gate their personal information will be automatically shown on a screen so this means that the, their cards must have been activated otherwise they won't have access through that pass well it means that this village is just for those athletes to uh, do trainings and to um, take meals so because we have very limited time today and this is all that we have for you and later we're going to bring you to different sites and venues and facilities and we will let you know more about the Olympic Village I can see now let me check if there is any comment under this program